What's up guys? So today we're reviewing a few items from our recent Sprouts Vegan Grocery Haul. We have new products from Light Life, Good Catch, and a new brand called Actual Veggies. From Light Life, we're taste testing the chicken fillets and the tenders. From Good Catch, their fish fillets and crab cakes. It's not a new item, but it's new to us. And from Actual Veggies, the actual black burger and the actual orange burger. For each of these products, we'll review the price, the nutrition facts, what local restaurants have them on their menu, where you can find them in certain grocery stores, a quick meal idea, and our honest thoughts on if the product is worth your time and money. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to see how we think these products stack up to similar products on the market. All right guys, so let's open these babies up and see what they look like. First up is the Light Life Chicken Filets. Smells pretty good. And it's pretty big too, look at that. Look how big this is, pretty big. Next are the chicken tenders. This one kind of smells like tuna, so that should be interesting. But next up we got the crab cakes. All right, let's see if it smells like crab cakes. The, the smell is kind of there. This is what it looks like. And we have the fish filet. Which, they're pretty big. Oh, it smells pretty fishy. But look how big it is. Look how big this thing is. This is huge. Wow. I am not mad. Okay. Hope it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next is the actual black burger, which it's pretty hard to open. So, got it open. Smells pretty good. Smells pretty tasty, actually. It smells like a traditional bean burger, but I like that smell. This is how it looks. All right, next is the actual orange burger. Smells pretty much the same as the bean burger. And here's how it looks. Pretty orange. All right, so let's go ahead and get these things in the air fryer. Now, if you don't have a Sprouts near you, watch this video to find out how you can get items delivered to your home from pretty much any grocery store in your area, even the ones that don't offer delivery and are not on Instacart. Now, if vegan reviews, taste tests, recipes, plant-based lifestyle tips, and recommendations are your thing, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button because that's exactly the kind of content that our vegan family of eight provide. Yes, eight. My wife Chris and I have six vegan children. Along with our weekly product reviews and our weekly vlogs, our kids share our lifestyle as a down-to-earth plant-based family. They cook, they garden, they do yoga, share eco-friendly products that we found, share their creative passions, everything. Check out some of these videos to see what our vegan teens, tweens, and toddlers eat in a day. And check out our most recent video to see what we cooked for our last vegan cookout of the summer. Now Chris is always in the comment section ready to welcome you to the family. Yes. <laughs> so make sure that you say hi after you subscribe. Now if you're already part of the Infinite Family, make sure that you hit that like button and comment below which one of these products are you most excited to try. First up, actual veggies. Now Post Malone's management team actually invested over $2 million into this company, so it's going to be pretty exciting to see where actual veggies ends up next. They can be exclusively found at Sprouts, and we'll also put a link in the description box so you can see where else you can find actual veggies. We found it in the deli section, so make sure that you check that area if you don't find it with the other vegan meats. So we're gonna be trying these in a traditional burger and also in an Ezekiel pita with infinite dip. So Chris whipped up some infinite dip 
from our cookbook to go with these taste tests. And guys, if you do not know what infinite dip is, you need to try it out. You need to get that cookbook right now and make that infinite dip. It is the signature dip that we use in this house. Guys, the cookbook is only $6.19. Now is the time to get it. I do not know how long it's gonna be that price for. As a matter of fact, all of our eBooks are $6.19. There are 50 recipes in our main cookbook, this infinite bite, and these are family favorites, kid friendly, delicious. I mean, you cannot go wrong. For only $6.19? Come on now. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> People ask how we got our kids to love cooking and being involved in the process. It's the cookbook, y'all. This is what the kids use every single day at every single meal. Chris is a former assistant kindergarten teacher. For children. For the children. <laughs> <laughs> so she created these recipes with kids in mind. These recipes are simple enough to make so that anybody can make any recipe at any given time. Next, we have Light Life. Now we've tried other Light Life products on the channel before, so make sure that you check out those videos for a full comprehensive review of those products as well. Now what's special about these chicken fillets is that they are used in vegan KFC chicken sandwiches in Canada. They're also used at Pizza Pizza in Canada. So if you think about it, if it wasn't for our Canadian family, we wouldn't be getting these chicken fillets over here in the US in our grocery stores. So big shout out to our Canadian family. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop. <laughs> now this is how it's done on the KFC sandwich. But for our sandwich, we're gonna be having it with some avocado on a pretzel bun with some infinite dip. Now these can be found right next to the chicken. So make sure that's where you look the next time you're at the grocery store. Finally, we have good catch. I think it's supposed to be good catch. It's good catch. <laughs> now we've also tried good catch on the channel and it was actually the beginning of us stating the good and the bad in certain products. That was a fun video. That was fun guys. If you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. We had a lot of fun making it. You can see the OG version of Chris and Waylon. Like that is go Guys, go check that out, man. We still watch it from time to time. Go and check that video out. Now, Good Catch was in the news recently when they trolled Subway by posting up in front of their stores. To sell tuna sandwiches. They were out there selling tuna sandwiches, y'all. <laughs> like, that's crazy. It was vegan tuna sandwiches, y'all, but still. Yeah, that was back when they found out that there's no fish in their tuna fish. <laughs> I remember that. I was like, what? Good thing I don't eat at Subway. Like, we haven't eaten Subway in like years, so we weren't surprised. <laughs> <laughs> They're also currently on the menu at Long John Silver's. Now, as far as Long John Silver's, they are at participating stores, so we'll put that list on the screen for you guys so you know exactly where you can get it if you want to try it at Long John Silver's. And guys, if it is in your area, support, support, support. because that's the only way that these things will get more promotion, they'll get yeah, more growth, they'll, they'll get permanent the placement. Yeah. By the way, shout out to our comment of the day. It goes to Emily Freeman, and our favorite part is when she said, I can agree with your commenter that I really only trust your taste buds. Big shout out to Emily. Let's get into the review. All right, so first up, we're going to try the actual black burger, right? So here's what it looks like on the inside. Hmm. See the beans, see the beans. All right. Well. Mm, it's like a typical black burger. Mm -hmm. A little dry, yeah, not too much flavor. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in some infinite dip. <laughs> you just dropped so much food on your shirt. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have the infinite dip on it now. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's better now. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> With the infinite dip, it's like an 8.5. Mm. But not everybody got infinite dip. Unless they you could. Get that you they could, get that they could have it. You gotta get that <laughs> But without the infinite dip, it's about like a 6.57. I would not buy that again. Okay. 
Okay. You think if you did it on the stove top, like the, the directions call for stove top? Um, maybe with a little oil mm -hmm. and some your But own? then that defeats the purpose. Defeats the purpose. All right. Some of your own seasonings, maybe, but yeah, by itself, you need some seasoning. All right. <laughs> Up next. All right. So now we're gonna try the actual orange burger. Oh, it's, everything smells really good. Yeah, it smells good. Um, now this one was made with infinite dip in it already and on a pita. Let's try this out. Mm. Okay. I like how the tomato hits. Okay. This one's pretty good. That one's better? Much better on a pita, I think. Mm. I think some, the bread kind of took some away from the The black first burger. one, the black one, yeah. yeah. What would you do to improve it? Seasonings? More infinite dip. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, like I put more infinite dip in it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good though. I like it. Okay. You would buy that again? Or to mm -hmm. be honest, not really. I'll buy it again, but I'll only do it in a pita. Okay. I wouldn't do it as a burger. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's why I was like, we need to do it on something light and like yeah. Yeah, pita's pretty good. Yeah. It's the um food for life pitas, it's yeah. the pitas. Yeah, they're great. Those are good. Yeah. That's a that's an eight. That's a solid eight. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. All right, so next up we have Good Catch, and I'm gonna try the crab cake because I didn't make anything out of those, so we're just gonna have it by itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on the inside. Hey, you got the beauty vlogger. Uh... Got that beauty vlogger hand. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of veggies and seasonings in there. Mm, smells good. Yeah, yeah. It smells kind of crabby. Mm -hmm. So. All right, I'm gonna taste it by itself and then I'm gonna try it with the infinite dip. Okay. Mmm. Yeah? Let me try it. That's good. I feel like fish. That tastes like some seafood. That initial bite, that's good. I enjoy that. Now, as I went to school very close to Maryland, so yeah. crab cakes are a big deal. Yeah, that's good. I enjoy that. Mm, that's a little weird aftertaste. I mean, some of these things definitely have some weird aftertaste. Mm, no, it's. Mm. That was good. I like that one. I'm gonna give that one an uh, 8.5. That's a must try. You gotta try that one. That's the good. I'm gonna try another piece of it. The good. Yeah, me too. I, I need another piece. I didn't even try it with the infinite dip. Like we don't even know something's good unless we try it on. We gotta try it with the infinite dip, man. Mmm. No, we we definitely buying these again. I I like these. These are good. That's nice. That's a solid 8.5. Mm -hmm. It has really good texture. I like the crisp of the uh, breading. The little seasonings that they put in there are really good. Nice touch. The consistency tastes like like flaky, like a uh, seafood. Mm -hmm. They did a good job. All right, that gets me excited for the fish fillet now. Mm. All right, all right, let's try the fish fillet. <laughs> this is the fish fillet. Doesn't look very appetizing to me. It doesn't look flaky or fishy or any of that. Kind of looks like a garden. It does. <laughs> all right, let me try it though. Kind of tastes like the garden too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's decent. Mm -hmm. I don't hate it. Guys, when we say the garden, we're talking about the garden. Um, the garden ultimate burger. Ultimate. Uh, and of chicken. Ultimate fish and chicken. It's yeah, yeah, not yeah. Fish. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Remember I said it's like one of the best fish sandwiches I've had? Yes. It was, it was chicken. It was chicken. <laughs> guys, if you ever tried the garden ultimate chicken, our boys did review it. In Sons, guys. Yes. Sons. Our, our... <laughs> it sounded like it was our homies. <laughs> the homies. <laughs> now, our oldest sons did review it in this video here, so check that out. But the Guardian chicken tastes like this. Mm. And it's a decent fish sandwich. I would yeah. Say. Would you buy it again? Honestly. Honestly, yeah. I would. Mm. I would. I'd give it a solid eight. Yikes. I would. If I were in the mood for fish, I would get this. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. All right, guys, last but not least, we have the Light Life Chicken Strip. So I'm going to try the strips first, and then we're going to try the chicken filet. All right? <laughs> you're giving me cheers, and you're, I don't even have mine. Cheers. Cheers. Let me show you, let me show you guys what it looks like on the inside mm -mm. first. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not eating that. <laughs> ah! She don't like the way it smells, guys. <laughs> she don't like the way it smells, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh. Oh, he don't man. like the way it smells, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try it for the culture. For the culture. For the culture. <laughs> it's well seasoned. Really? Mm hmm. 
That's a must try. That's good. That's actually really good. Let me pass my piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm squeezing. No, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. The breading and the seasoning. Mmm. Right? <laughs> it's a little, it tastes a little bit like the Beyond. I didn't go lie to you. I'm the Beyond chicken tenders. Mmm. Right? The, it's the Color great. me surprised. <laughs> it don't smell the greatest, but there's something about the breading and the seasoning that they use mm. that is very tasty. It's like Caribbean vibes, I get. Mm. Yeah. Try with the infinite. Oh, no. uh, and guys, this is right by our sprout, so we're going to be buying this on a regular, I think. Mm. That's a niner. Mm -hmm. Wow, don't judge a book by its smell. You know what? For me personally, that's a tenner. Yikes. And the reason why I say it's a tenner is because I can't go to the store right now and buy Beyond Chicken Tenders. Hmm. I can go and buy these. Hmm. You know, if we want to have it tonight, we can go out and get it tonight. You know what I'm saying? So, Light that's life. Light life, you did it. You man. did it. You did it. Like that, that, is, that is good. I am shocked. Yes. And I, this is why you give brands a chance. Guys, if you are OG subscribers, you will remember the first time we ever tried Light Life. It wasn't chicken per se, but it was their uh, meat products. Hmm. And they we were just not the biggest fans. They were not that delicious. And we made us think about it on the video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and apparently they went back to the drawing board, I guess because enough people were like, uh, this ain't the best. Yeah. And they revamped everything and they knocked it out of the park. All right, let's chicken, chicken sandwich me, baby. Chicken sandwich me, baby. <laughs> Again, doesn't doesn't quite look like. That doesn't look bad, though. Doesn't quite look like a uh, like chicken, but not bad. Hopefully, it tastes like. I see trips. why. I see why they're at KFC. Yeah, this I see that. Oh, yeah, I did say. I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Is there another half of that? Yeah, just just like just more. Yeah, these are. I see why it's now permanently on and, the menu. On the menu yeah. at KFC Canada. Like, this is, these are keepers, man. I, I, wow. I, I have yet to try this, though. Guys, right, I'm trying more. Like, yeah. That's, you could give these to a meat eater and they wouldn't know the difference. But let me try the chicken filet, because I'm over here talking about you can try this. I didn't even try it yet. Mmm, that's beefy. Is it as good as the tenders? Yes. Okay. Permanent staple in this house. Wow. These light life chicken filet wow. and chicken strips. Bro! Permanent fixtures. These are tenors. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Light life. Wow. A1 in my book for these. We, yeah. We're putting up on the screen right now where do everything ranks next to other things. No words. These we are. We gotta go because I gotta eat. <laughs> these <laughs> these are... kids gotta eat. Uh, mm, spectacular. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And as always, don't forget to drink your almond milk and zip up your coat. See you the next one.